Hello, this is Susan Smith Nash, and I'm here to talk about the narrative essay, telling the story so that it really matters. So here's a photograph I took in the on the beach at Lo de Marcos, Nayarit, Mexico, and it's a, an area that's beautiful. It's just a beautiful, long, expansive beach, and it's also a place where turtles are released at night to help the population. They are endangered sea turtles, and they're tiny little hatchlings that they they um, release at night. So anyway, I thought it would be interesting to tell the story of the day I encountered endangered sea turtles on a beach in southern Mexico in Lo de Marcos, just north of Puerto Vallarta. So here are the steps to follow in creating a narrative essay. Select an event that you remember very vividly, and I recommend using a photo to trigger your thoughts and provide a topic. Plunge yourself into the scene. Make it gripping and dramatic. If you're interested in it, then chances are your reader will be. Then step back. Give some context. Fill in the details. Where are you? What was going on? Then, then build your background paragraph with a little bit of the back story to intrigue your reader and, and also give them something to hold on to in their imagination. Include characters, the situation, the place. Add vivid details as you continue telling the story and also look to deeper philosophical implications. And then also go with a conclusion that not only reflects what you've looked at, but also that looks to the future. So here's the, the photo. It was from a poster, Tortuga Marina. And it says, No te acerques a ellas, no las molestes. No les dirijas iluminación, no las capturas. Ah, look what's happening. Well, let's just cancel this and, um, hmm, looks like I'm going to have to start over. Oh, I won't do that. This was going so well. So anyway, what it's basically saying is don't approach the tiny little tur turtles. Do not bother them. Don't shine light in their eyes and don't capture them. Remember, they are a species in danger of extinction. So it's all about protecting the sea turtles. This is the photo I'm going to use as a prompt or a trigger for my narrative essay. So I hope you didn't mind the little interruption, the intrusive Windows installer <laughs> reminder that, <laughs> that <laughs> your computer is always watching and waiting for opportunities to disrupt you. No, but at any rate, the narrative essay is really fun to, to write and to plan, and I highly recommend it. As you get started, think of an, an outline, and sometimes if you're stuck, try mind mapping. So thank you again. This is Susan Smith-Nash.